Hello viewers, welcome back. In this video we continue to explain the laws of thermodynamics and this time the focus is on the first law of thermodynamics. And what does this law say? So first law of thermodynamics says that the total amount of energy in an in enclosed, isolated system must be conserved. And what that means? So energy by itself cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from the one form to the other form. So that's the basically what conserves the energy, the law of conservation of energy. And now I will try to explain you with the two examples how this energy is preserved or conserved in a closed system. All right, so what do I have here? So I have the balloon, of course, the Super Mario balloon, and I have the can from my proteins, which I do for my exercise. And I will use these two things to explain you the conservation of energy. So how did I manage to blow this balloon and how, what will happen if I drop this uh, can on the floor? So this will explain you the law of conservation of energy. So let's start with the balloon and unfortunately try to blow up this Super Mario balloon. Alright, so what is here on the stake? Yeah, so this balloon was of course empty when I bought it. Yeah? And uh, I needed to blow some air inside of this balloon to make it like a ball, yeah? to, to pump the air inside. And of course, for that I used some energy. And energy is measured in joules. So when I blew up into this opening, I basically uh, put some pressure inside this, uh, inside this balloon. And that means that inside of this balloon is different pressure than inside of this room. A little bit stronger or higher pressure. So now I will, I will uh, explode this balloon and try to make it in slow motion and then explain what happened with the energy. So how is how the energy have been preserved in the end. Alright, so what happened with this system? So I blew up the balloon. Of course, as I said at the beginning, I put some pressure, I have to pressurize air inside of the balloon and I used some energy, some joules were pumped up by the meaning of compressed air into the balloon and then I took a needle and uh, blew up the balloon. So what happened? So basically the total amount of energy in joules have, be, uh, have stayed the same. You know? So but it appears that I used less energy when I blew up, blew in the balloon, than the energy which was uh, dissipated when I blew up the balloon. But it's not, it's the same energy, because the energy when it blew up actually uh, trans transformed into the sound energy. So its explosion become a sound energy and it appears that this is even higher energy than the energy invested inside when blowing, uh, blowing in this balloon. But no, the total amount of energy has stayed the same. So now let's go to the second uh, experiment where I will drop the can of proteins on the floor and try to explain what happens then. All right, so in this video, I'll try to explain the conservation of energy with this can. So I will drop this can and I will explain what happens with the energy and how is energy conserved. Alright, so I dropped the can. So when I hold it, this can, this can had some gravitational potential energy, which can be calculated in joules. And uh, let's say this can has one joule of potential energy when I hold it in this height. So when I lose this can, and when she drops down, when she touches the floor, she has potential energy will be the zero. You know? And the kinetic energy will be the same amount of energy so this this burst and this uh, movement created when it touches the floor exam second it will has the same energy so one joule will kick the floor the same energy which we hold in our hand when it was on this height yeah. so in this way again the energy will be conserved so 
it will not be created more energy when it hits the floor than the energy, potential energy it had when it was at this height. And this is and this is universal law and it cannot be broken. So why is this important? So this uh, first and uh, first law of thermodynamics uh, explains that perpetual motion machines, which we all like, are not possible. And why they are not possible? Because if we have a machine which constantly rotates yeah, and have this perfectly balanced system, which will enable that this machine rotates permanently, it simply cannot, because we always have in a closed system some heat dissipation, yeah, some friction, some resistance of the air if something spins. And this will stop the machine eventually, in the end, 100%. Yeah? So it's, it's really not possible by the physics and the first law and the conservation of energy. So basically this is it. That, one, that were two examples how to explain the first law of conservation of energy that always in a closed system, uh, in a closed system energy is conserved. She can be created or destroyed, but it can only pass from one form to another. In the first example, it was the, the, the gas, the, the pressure and the gas inside of the, of the balloon exploded into the sound energy, mostly. And uh, inside, the, the, when we dropped the can, the potential energy became the kinetic energy when it hits the floor. So that's basically it. So thank you for watching. Until the second law of thermodynamics, please stay tuned on my channel. Bye-bye.